Aditya Agarwal, head technical research at Way to Wealth, also now joins us. Aditya, good afternoon. The sense that you get about markets and the way ahead. Uh, well, if we see uh, Nifty, then we expect that Nifty will continue to trade a band of 88.50 and 87.50 for next two trading sessions. And we will see a breakout or breakdown uh, after the Fed meetings. But more or less, if you see the market and market are looking positive, uh, we are not expecting that Nifty is going to break 8700 in short term. Yes, if it breaks 8700, then we can see some more uh, correction. Nifty can uh, drift towards 8600 to 85 to 80 levels, but not much from these levels. On higher side, 8900 to 9000, that will act as immediate resistance. There but if we see some of the stock specific charts then uh, some of the large cap stocks are, 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 uh, have made some good break, uh, have given some good breakout and we can see some support from those levels stock like the Lions, ICC Bank and uh, these will support market at lower levels so overall market looks positive uh, we will consolidate for some uh, some time in this range of 8700 to 8900 and after that we are expecting a positive breakout on higher side Right. Uh, as we were talking about the markets, Glenmark has given a news flow where they have said that they have announced uh, a partnership, a partnership with Particle Science. Uh, it's a US-based company and uh, both these companies would be looking in for global exclusive commercial marketing as well as distribution rights for the product. Uh, development is initiated for the US markets with an ANDA expected to launch or to be filed in FY19. Subsequent, the product filing in other key markets would also continue. It's a very long dated sort of, uh, sort of a pack that we are seeing. Particle Science to receive milestone payments on various stage of product development from Glenmark, including royalty on sales. Uh, there is no amount given that, you know, what would they expect uh, or, you know, how things would go ahead. Okay, Abronax has uh, got a reported sales of $967 million worldwide, but uh, they, have, they have really not said anything uh, that, you know, what that amount can be. Of course, which if the company that they have done uh, this with, if they actually develop that, uh, then, uh, you know, you could see uh, better developments uh, going ahead. It's for a particular drug, Abronex, but it's 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 way away. So you know, F519 is when you're looking at an impact. There was an initial positive reaction. Now it's uh, absolutely flat. Uh, uh, Siddharth, uh, Glenmark, uh, you know, these partnership tends to continue and add on to numbers, but very very backdated. F519 is when you're looking at uh, more drugs getting launched or the pact that they've just signed. Well, this is a welcome move, but I would say this is uh, something uh, more or less priced in the stock. And uh, what we believe is, uh, as we know that a lot of ANDAs are in the pipeline and uh, definitely the performance is coming as per the expectation of uh, Glenmark. What we expect is the stock can be an outperformer with a medium to long term perspective. Right. Uh, uh, any view on uh, United Phosphorus uh, Limited, Siddharth? Well, UPL looks quite interesting because in this space, the kind of company, the results has been posting and even in the innovation percentage, they have gone up to 14%. Overall, company has been doing good. Uh, um, the monsoons has gone good. So in the agri space, UPL looks quite interesting. Uh, we, we believe that from here on also there would be a good performance because last month performance was also quite good. This month also the stock price performance was up to the mark. What we believe is with a medium to long term perspective, UPL looking at the agri space, looking at the Kharif season, the way it is going and Rabi season also is expected to be good. Uh, that is December quarter. So what we believe is UPL from here on can also give uh, better returns uh, for the investors. Would you be a buyer into UPL? Yes, uh, uh, the prices has been a little bit of a uh, on the uh, uh, elevated side. What we believe is if any kind of a correction comes in the stock, uh, not at the current state, but any correction comes in the stock, I would say one should uh, uh, put it, uh, buy it in a piecemeal manner. Uh, Aditya, on the FNO side, uh, what do you think about United Phosphorus Limited? Last three, four days, we've seen three, four reports coming in, but every time it goes to 700, 710, it tends to see selling pressure. Well, stock has already seen a decent rally from 500 level to 720 in the last couple of weeks. And I, I think now the stock will consolidate or may see some little bit of profit booking. Uh, today, stock has added short position. It has added almost 11% shares in open interest. Uh, we are expecting that stock will see some pressure and it may come to a 640, 
it's 30 levels but yes overall structure for the stock is positive uh, if it comes in the range of 630 640 that is a time where one can again go long uh, with a positional stop loss of 590 uh, we are expecting that in short term my stock may again test 700 720 levels and if if it breaks 720 then we are expecting target of 765 770 also any view on Apollo tires? 3% higher today as well. It's, it's got one of the most phenomenal rally that we have seen. Well, if we see whole tire space, then all the 3-4 three, three, tire stocks have seen a sharp rally in the last couple of days. Uh, now, Apollo tires is trading around the resistance band of 225-230. And from those levels, we may see some minor uh, minor correction. But yes, overall structure for all the tire sector, uh, overall tire sector is looking bullish. Uh, if, if, uh, if Apollo tires comes around 215 to 16, it's again a good buying opportunity. Uh, one can buy with a stop loss of uh, 199. On the higher side, you can expect target of 240-215 short term. But again, you know, you're saying it, if it comes to 215, one should start to buy. But even at these levels, the trend is not looking negative, right? Yeah, trend is not negative. If someone is holding uh, Apollo tires, then they can definitely hold on. But yes, uh, buying at current levels, then risk reward ratio is not in your favor. You may see some means uh, investor may see some seven, eight rupees correction in, in any single day. So it's better to buy on dips if you want to make long position. But if someone is holding, then they can definitely hold on. Any view on CET or MRF as well? Well, uh, view for the all the if we see MRF, C8, and Apollo, the, all the three stocks are looking extremely good. After a long time, we are seeing uh, rallying all these three stocks after a decent uh, correction. We are seeing a pullback. Uh, similarly, we see C8, then it has already seen a rally from 800 to 1130, 1140 levels. Now, 1140, 1150 is the immediate resistance level. So, at current levels, I won't be a buyer in this counter. Uh, it means it's like if it breaks 1150, then I'm expecting a pullback till 1300 levels. Uh, so, it's again not a time to buy if, if you are holding then we can hold on with a stop loss of 1050 uh, and if it breaks 1000, 1150 1160 then yes i'm expecting a further pullback till 1300 right uh siddharth uh, tire stocks how would you look at these names Well, tyre company is uh, one thing which has which has been positive of late is uh, rubber prices. That is natural rubber prices, which has come down ten odd percent. I think that was very positive for the company. Uh, companies uh, amongst the tyre space, we really like uh, Apollo tyres. Although the target price is out past uh, because we had a two hundred rupees target price, uh, so we would be getting into the re-rating of the stock. But overall, uh, the kind of growth they we have seen, top line grew around 16% on a YOY basis for the quarterly numbers. And uh, the kind of volume growth they have seen, especially from the African and Asian region, 13% uh, volume growth was seen. I think that was also very substantial. So overall, uh, uh, tire space looks quite interesting looking at the uh, input prices. But yes, Chinese competition and the Chinese dumping of specially radial tires I think that is a key concern for the entire industry. But I think uh, fall in the rubber prices, I think that is negating everything. So tire space looks very interesting. Amongst that, Apollo tire is a top pick. Right. Uh, as far as uh, Indescent Bank is concerned, Siddharth, whenever it falls 5-10%, just buy and don't think about valuations? Absolutely, Pankaj, because... Uh, uh, we've seen in the case of HDFC Bank since so many quarters uh, till now, uh, valuation may be bouncing up at four four odd times uh, price to adjusted book. Still, people were uh, a buyer into the stock. It's just because of the sustainability in terms of performance. Continuous performance is coming over so many several quarters have been concerned. Same is the case with Indusin Bank. Actually, both the banks are more centric towards uh, retail advances are higher than 20%. That is something very interesting and which is unlikely seen in most of the banks, including some of the privates and most of the PSU banks. So strong advances, cost of deposit is good, uh, uh, CASA is very strong. So these banks being retail centric, everything is good, asset quality is under control. So valuation is definitely has to be a little higher on the higher side and market would like to give justify that because of uh, a better books and better balance sheet. Right, uh, Siddharth, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Aditya, just request you to stay on. Markets are about to shut. I'll come back to you after that. So, 29 points higher for uh, the Nifty. Uh, 88, 10, 88, 11 is where uh, Nifty is. ICICI Bank on your screen is up 1.6. BHEL, 146. ITC, 259. Yes Bank on the higher side. Tata Power is up about 1.9%. Axis Bank is down 1%. Tata Steel is up 0 0.6, 361. 
Hindalco is up a percent, 144. ONGC is up 1.4 percent, 254 for ONGC. Reliance Industries, 8 rupees higher, 1083. Bank of Baroda is up 1 percent, 166 for Bank of Baroda. Infosys is up uh, 1 rupee or so, 1061. And Power Grid is close to 178, 2 rupees higher. Coal India, 1.3 percent higher, 329. Wipro is up about 2 rupees, 481. Tata Motors DVR is down about a rupee or so, 351 for Tata Motors. Orbindo Pharma is up 2.5% at about 805. Z Entertainment 1% higher, 525 for Z Entertainment. Bharti Airtel up 2 rupees, 325. Ambuja Cement 2% higher, 268 for Ambuja Cement and TCS up about 2%, 2410. HDFC, HDFC Bank both slightly on the negative side, Sun Pharma down about a quarter of the quarter of a percent. That's uh, the closing bell, 28 points higher for the Nifty, Sensex up about 48 odd points. Indusind Bank was the top gainer, 2.7, 2.8% higher, 1211 for Indusind Bank, one of the best movers today. Aurobindo Pharma, 2.6% higher, 805 for Aurobindo Pharma, 1.9 million shares traded for that uh, name. Tata Power did well, 2.2% higher, uh, Abuja Cement was up 2.1%, TCS was also among the gainers. TCS actually since morning was gaining uh, pretty well. So TCS 2411, 1.4 million shares traded for TCS. Ultratech did well, 1.8% higher, 3996 for Ultratech Cement. ONGC was up around 1.6%, 254, 255 for ONGC. ICICI Bank 271, of course an important day for ICICI Bank. You heard the management uh, on the show. And uh, ICICI Pro, in terms of their IPO or their first uh, uh, ever offering, is is coming up uh, to hit the markets. It started today. Adani Ports, 1.5% higher. BPCL up about 1.3. ACC, Coal India, Z Entertainment up about 1% each. As far as some of the losers are concerned, Maruti is down about 1.3% at about uh, 5,497. Bajaj Auto is down 1.2%. 2,945 for Bajaj Auto. Axis Bank is down 1.2%. Hero Motor Corp, HDFC Bank are also among losers. So Hero Motor Corp is down 0.9. HDFC Bank is down about 0.6%. Uh, let's look at some broader market movers and what happened over there. A lot of names actually did pretty well. Let's start with the real estate pack. India Bull Real Estate was up 7%. 92 rupees for India Bull Real Estate. Let's uh, pull up that name. 20 million shares in terms of volumes was looking in extremely strong. DLF also did well, so it was up around 5 to 6 odd percent. The entire real estate pack actually did uh, very, very well. Real estate was up, uh, there you go, DLF was up about 4 percent. Uh, let's look at another name. So uh, Raymond did well. They are also among uh, the real estate or they have a lot of real estate uh, with them. Uh, so maybe even that's why uh, that name uh, also did uh, pretty well. Tire stocks did well, so you had a lights of Seat, you had a lights of Apollo tires, you had a light of MRF, which was up around 4 to 5% each. All these names have been doing well, they continue to do so, and clearly, you know, markets, uh, markets continue to reward them uh, with higher and higher valuation. Some of the pharma companies in the mid-cap space did well. Let's pull up a Dishman Pharma, 6% higher, 198, uh, 3 million shares traded for Dishman Pharma. Let's look at Dishman. 6% uh, higher, 198, 199 uh, for, for Dishman Pharma. So that's a name uh, that also did uh, pretty well. From the mid-cap index itself, what was going up? Uh, a United Breweries was up 6%, 875. There was a block deal today as well. On Friday, there was a block deal and uh, uh, the promoter Henneken bought. And maybe today also, we'll get the data at around 6, 6.30 p.m. India time. Tata Communication was up 4.5%, Ashok Leyland was up close to 4%, Voltas also did uh, pretty well. Uh, Aditya Agarwal is uh, still with us. Aditya, any view on Reliance Industries and Indescent Bank? Reliance has done well of late, Indescent was up to 2.5-3% today. Well, if we see Reliance Industries in the after means, uh, if we two years stock has given a breakout of 1070, 1075 and now we are seeing some additional buying. So overall structure for the Alliance Industries has become positive after a long time. It's a positional call means if someone can hold then it, we are expecting target of 12, 50, 13, 1300 in short term. Uh, so one can continue to hold Alliance Industries. They know no reason as of now to uh, book profit in Alliance or sell Alliance after a long time stock has given a breakout and we are seeing some fresh long position getting built up on in decline. 
so one can continue to hold and, and add if it comes in the range of 1050 1040 levels uh, with a stop loss of 990 and short term we expect target of 1250 1300 uh, similarly we see indescent bank uh, after a strong rally now a stock is in consolidation band in a range of 1150 on lower side 1250 1260 on higher side uh, so we are expecting that it will continue to trade in this 100 rupees band for next couple of days before giving any fresh breakout uh, so as of now stock is trading in mid of the range so it's uh, no it's in no trade zone so one can avoid indecent bank as of now if it's, if it's coming in the range of 1180 or 1170 that is a good time where one can buy giving a stop loss of 1150 and higher side one can expect a target of 1240 1250